the mayhem inside in the down dressing room right now. And you know why. Liam, delighted. Oh, it's a little bit sure. I've waited so long for this. And it was good to spur it and determination today, and I think that won in the end. I thought we, towards the second half, at the early stages, I thought we were going to lose it, but we came back strong at the end, and that was all that kind of did. It was good spurt in this team. Some fine goals by Peter Whitnell. Oh, excellent. He took them very, very well. We, we, we were very unfortunate at the start. We missed two fairly good opportunities, and uh, the, you know, it could have been. We could have been very comfortable at that stage, you know. Have you had any chance yet to check on Peter Whitnell's well-being? Is he OK? Oh, Will he's he be all, oh, he's all right. Just a few bruises and so on, but he's fine. He's fine. Michael Lester was making the point. He looked the happiest man he's ever seen in a stretcher. <laughs> he is indeed. But I, I can assure you, he was very much so. We're all delighted, you know. It's a, it's a great occasion, the support and everything bring bring with us. And uh, we're looking forward to 15th of September. Liam, what is it going to mean to Ulster football, to Down in particular? Well, Down have been in the, the doldrums for a long, long time. They've lived in the shadow of the 60s teams and so forth. And it's about time that the, you know, the, the, the Down team of this age uh, start making inroads into the game. And, and you know, we have good players and it's up to us to produce it on the day. On a personal note, I'm sure you were delighted to get in there. Oh, very much so. I had a very frustrating five weeks, uh, the bad injury. And, and just to get in there was uh, just a dream come true for me. Liam Austin, you've soldiered long and done scores. Congratulations, well done Thank to you. Sir. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Connor Deegan. Connor, that was a terrific performance. How do you feel about it all? Well, as you've seen yourself in the change rooms, the, the team is ecstatic. Um, we came here today to win, uh, play good football, which I think we did at the end of the day, and uh, we've won, and that's all we came here to do, really. The defence did its job. Yeah, the defence played very well, very sound. Paul Higgins, I thought, was outstanding. Um, DJ Kane was tremendous, as he has been all through the campaign, uh, but played very strong. I think Barry Breen at midfield had an exceptional second half. And with you now as well, my old pal Greg Benny. Greg, well done. Great performance. Sure. Yeah, we we're, were delighted to be in the final. I uh, thought the first 20 minutes of the second half we fell asleep and weren't carry up their game and we weren't getting any breaks. But I think Mickey Dunn's point was the turn, turn point of the game. And from there on, we're. This victory, of course, has upset your domestic plans just a little. Uh, you were getting married in the middle of all this. In fact, you oh, are married. Yeah, it, it stopped upsetting. We got married uh, four days before we lost the final and I went on honeymoon for a week there in between. So. We're, we're, we're settling now and we're, we're getting ready for the final in five weeks' time. I was asking earlier, what is this going to mean, do you think, for Ulster football to beat uh, Kerry, one of the top uh, counties in Gaelic football? Yeah, it's a big boost for Ulster football, but uh, we really see winning the All-Ireland is a bigger boost. You know, uh, the final isn't there just to be participating and we would hope to go all the way and win it, but I'm sure me or Scum will feel the same way. Because at the start of every campaign, somehow Down seem to be the favourites or somebody's favourites to come out of Ulster. Well, I think on, uh, on account of the fact that Down had a great record in the 60s, I think we've been burdened with the uh, tag of favourites every year. But this year we weren't made favourites and uh, things seem to have worked out well for us. Enjoy the build-up to the final, Greg and Connor. Thanks very much for talking to us. Well done. Well, if there's anybody happier in Croke Park this afternoon than this man here, Pete McGrath, the Down manager. Sum up your feelings for us, Pete. Uh, one of absolute delight and relief because it was a funny sort of a game. In the first half, they dominated, missed a lot of chances. Kerry came back very strong. And in the second half, the game seemed to die a bit of a death. Uh, it was anyone's game up until Peter Whittle got the goal. Those goals were very, very important. He took them very, very well because he kept both shots low and uh, Charlie Nelligan had no chance of either of them. And given the fact that we had missed a lot of chances, uh, obviously put the pressure on the forwards in terms of if they got chances, they might, they might snatch at them. But Peter took them with great aplomb and with great calmness. Well, last year you took me or took uh, down as far as uh, a league final against me. Now the ultimate, the All Ireland final. Yes, uh, it's obviously a, a great feeling and something to look forward to. And uh, we only hope that we can come back here in five weeks' time and the team can do itself justice. People talk about your attack, but what about your defence today? The defence has played well all through the championship. Uh, they have marked extremely tight, they've covered for each other very well and played with great discipline. And today, given the, the uh, free taking ability of Mars for Stirl, it was vital not to foul. And we give very few fouls away today, so our defence today deserves a lot of the credit for the victory. Peter, enjoy your day, enjoy your afternoon, you've certainly deserved it. Well done to Down. Thank you very much. I was told it was here in 68, but it's a fantastic feeling to be here today. Of course, you've lived with the legends of 68 and 60 and 61. That can't have been easy. Oh, no, but when you can't really relate immediately to it, it's not too bad. It's really the, the public and the older generations putting, maybe they feel it more than we do. The, the present bunch of players didn't feel it that badly at all. In the past, Ulster teams have come, gone so far, played so well, and yet come away beaten. So we're very pleased today from our own point of view and indeed for the whole of Ulster football that we've shown that Ulster teams can come here, compete and win. I think it's fair to say that history wasn't going to win us that game today. We had to go out and prove it, prove to ourselves that we were worthy to beat Kerry and uh, I think we did that today. Of course, you know quite a few of these Kerry players who uh, shared a room in fact in Australia with Jack O'Shea. 
That's right. You know, you know, uh, he was, I was speaking to him afterwards. He was telling me that the, there's no point in beating Kerry, and if, if you can't go on and win the thing, and that's true. We, uh, if we get beaten the final, this win over the kingdom will count for nothing. What will the support be like? What will the build-up be like? Do you think? I don't know. I can't remember the last time time we're in an Ireland final. <laughs> this has been a very good season for you so far. It has indeed. Yeah, a long may continue. <laughs> what do you put it down to? Uh, well, at this stage of my career, I'm fairly experienced, and uh, I'd be fairly relaxed before the game and. And uh, the nerves don't be too bad. What kind of spirit of togetherness is there now in this down team? Because Pete McGrath seems to me has certainly got the team buzzing. He has indeed. We're a very close knit outfit and uh, with great belief in our ability. And when you have that in a team, you don't lose.